And hello everybody, um, this is, um, Sammy15, the Dragon Tame, forgot the R, um, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna show my face today, um, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I am bad at talking without, um, stuttering or pausing, I am really bad at that. Even when I do interviews of people with my droid phone, it's still pretty bad. In fact, I just uploaded one with my phone, um, with me... Actually, it was Madison, um, Wisconsin, and, um, for TCG, for regionals, and I did not do well, but on Sunday, I came back, and, I uh, got an interview with Puka, and I also, I also got a, uh, interview with Isaiah Bader, um, Betridge, I think that's how you pronounce his name, who actually beat Puka. Um, he was also top 16, I think he topped 8, I don't know whether or not he went further after that, I think he did, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I assume, I'm going to assume here and say that he probably won the thing, whole entire goddamn thing. Either he lost, either that or he lost to, um, Alejandro Luna or Joe Baca, or one of those guys. But yeah, those are the only guys I really know. But, yeah, um, I did not manage to upgrade, upload my, uh, my interview with Isaiah. So, yeah, that sucks, and, um... No, I was able to do something else instead. Um, well, I am going to do something else instead. I uploaded the one with um, uh, him, and I instead I'll just give you the audio of um, my interview with Isaiah um, Bait Ridge. Yeah, copy audio. Hello, everybody. I am Sammy Fifteen, the Dragon Tame. Got the R, the, the um, and Tamer, but. Uh, hello. And I, I'm here at uh, Regionals on the, the um, at Madison, and um, we're here at Top Cut. And um, I'm here with one of the guys, um, Isaac Betridge, Isaiah. And um, I think he um, was undefeated uh, in the Peruvian uh, uh, Yeah, whatever you, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm here with him right now. Um, and hello, Isaiah. How are you doing? Great. Um, <laughs> So, um, so what deck are you using, if you don't mind me asking? I'm playing Landris with Buffalon. Landris with Buffalon. So then, how's that playing out for you so far? It's good. I, there were a couple of them I shouldn't have won. I played against Blink Clang like twice. And, uh, one of them, the guy decked out, and the other one, he was fishing for a switch and couldn't get it, so I got super lucky. But, um, yeah, Jay was playing with Jay Moore and I'm going to play with him. And, um, and, um, so you were undefeated. It first. So, um, who were you facing the, um, in your first round? I was going to tell this is why. Nathan. In my first round of Top Cut? Yeah. Yeah. His name's Nathan. Ah, uh, I don't remember his last name, I'm sorry. It's not anybody I've ever met before. I'm really new to the kind of scene, so. Okay. He was playing, um, Snorlax and Giratina. Snorlax and Giratina? Mm -hmm. That made it that far? It did. Yeah. It was actually really tough because there, you had to take out six yeah, no, non-EX with 130 hit points. So. Right, you have Dark Chomp. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, the problem with Garchomp is that you get to evolve it, like, all the stuff constantly, you know, if everything has low HP. It's a, that Giratina can do 100 for, like, a Psychic and a DCE, plus Poison, and yeah. two shots EX is really nice, so, I can see how he got there, it was a shot. It's better than you would think, actually. There was one turn when he did a in the background. on a Sarlax, and he could have wiped because I had like a land or a bunch of points and all my energy on it, but he missed his energy half that turn, so he lucked out. <laughs> but that was the second game, so I don't know, I could have gone to three games, but I ended up just two. Games. So you're in the top 16 now, and who's your party? Do you know? And I think it's um, Kasu. God damn it. Sorry about that. Bring her off. Ah, god damn it. We lost our place too. Sorry about that. God damn it, phone. Hello everybody, I am Sammy15, the Dragon Team. Let's try let's see if I can get where Trey was. Saying, oh, he really is overrated. <laughs> no. 
You said um, that really is about you, um, I think I need to wipe me out because I had like a land or some bunch of points and all my energy on it, but he missed his energy from that turn, so I lucked out. <laughs> but that was the second game, so I don't know, I could have gone to three games, but I ended up just two left. So you're in the top 16 now. Mm -hmm. And who's your opponent? Do you know? Yeah, I think it's um, some kind of glitch. Puka is next. Puka? Yeah. Oh, are you, are you nervous? Yeah, I've only played him once. In, in Swiss, like at the last regionals, and I beat him. You beat him? Yeah. <laughs> you beat him. But, I don't know, I, I don't know, I think he's playing Garb Drive. I've been sitting over in the top tables with, with the video camera, so I didn't see what anybody was playing. Oh. And it's all surprise to me. <laughs> but my strategy remains the same for most of what I come up against, so it's all right. So, um, you said, you said this week, you said, um, about earlier about you, um, being new to the competitive scene. Um, how is this your first regionals? No, no. I'm not super new. I played last season, did pretty well, and then this season. So, so you've been playing about a year and a half? So. About a year and a half? And so you have a little more experience than some of the people here. Yeah. I hear that Joe Baca, one of the other competitors, and um, I think Ali Hall and Drew Luna are kind of new to the scene, and, like fresh to the scene. There's a lot of big names here, but a lot of the top guys is people I've never, never heard of. Or anything, so. You've obviously heard of, um, I forgot his name. He's a two-time world champion. Jason. Blizzard. Yeah, Jason. Yeah. yeah. He bubbled. He was 34 out of 32, so he barely missed the top bit. So he did So he did top cut. No. I thought he did. Uh-huh. No, he was 34 out of 32. And everybody, all the 6 twos, not all of them made it. Like three of them didn't. He was one of them. And now people are calling him laughing at home saying, Oh, he really is overrated. <laughs> no. He's a good player. He's really good. Yeah. Nice guy, too. I met him before, but... I haven't had the chance to play him. I, I played him twice. Um, once in states in Illinois, and the he other. Durant. What did we say? Was he playing Durant? No, he was not playing Durant. Please make your way up to the side of the stage to meet the judge. Please sign up for the Illinois Box. Please start from the very back. Please make your way up to the side of the stage to meet the judge. There's a mirror match I was facing uh, on Jason. Uh, we both had blast stories, but he had a cure in his deck, which not annihilated me. And the first time before that was at um, Top Cut Gaming in um, Plainfield, and um, Go there. it was it was just a local match on Thursday. And, Go there. and by the way, there's matches on um, Thursday and every day on Thursday and all the way if you're from Illinois. Also on Saturday, Nebraska. Wow, you so you traveled a bit to get here. Seven and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> Bless your soul. <laughs> oh, it's worth it. Yeah, yeah. it's fun. I know right now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, I was facing against Jason, and he. I won the first round. I actually, yeah, that was the first round of the tournament. I beat him, and then and I bet someone beat someone else, and I faced Joe Bach in the final round, and it was a close match, but Joe beat me. So yeah, so back back on to what we were saying earlier. You said you were having fun here. So well, I mean, how can you not if you're doing really well? But yeah, exactly. <laughs> huh? Exactly. I went three five myself, but I'm still having fun. <laughs> I'm doing all the side events like crazy. It's not my money. I got I got some lucky breaks. Um, my last round of Swiss was actually a mirror, mm -hmm. and, and he was telling me he didn't hit any clink clang or blast noise, and I hit a couple of those and had to struggle to get there. So your last opponent had a clink clang deck? No, he had Landers just like I did. Oh, so you play Landers? Yeah, Landers and Buffon. It's mostly like that's the combo that I'm in love with right now. Is you, you spread some damage with Landers while you charge up a bunch of Buffon. It's actually rank three, and then. As soon as that damage is on the board, you come up and you start sweeping them. Buffon. Yeah, Buffon is actually... Should actually be a rare, in my opinion, because he's just that good. Yeah. But he's not. He's an uncommon, and he's in um, the set Dragon's Exalted. He's, um... I, I like him a lot, but he's only good in certain ones where you can actually charge him up. I mean, you can do yeah, because I only play one energy a turn. That's the hard part. That's yeah. it. You'd think the game's so straightforward, you know? I, but... You think that you could be playing around, you know, but I don't know. It's it's hard to deal with because I come out real aggressive, one energy, you know, lots of poison and stuff like that. So, yeah. so you play. I'm guessing you play hit no toxic uh -huh. lasers. Um, because Buffon does 150 if, if there's some poison in play. Yeah. So it's hard to look away from. <laughs> oh, it, it, it hurts. And so so, what cards do you um, play when um 
we'll uh, get some damage on it. Yeah, I run. Um, well, I don't know. Do you play both the wants, I, know. I play. I play three max potions actually, and they, they every almost every single game I wipe off hundreds of damage from the field, and it keeps me in play, keeps me going. And uh, because my guys can do so much for like one energy or whatever, so and uh, the. Uh, God, we're at the halfway point through the video, my hand, and my arm's already starting to get a little tired from holding it up. That shows how weak I am. But yeah, so far we're talking. Uh, so far, as you can tell, I have very bad um, got interview skills. Like just right there, there's an example of me pausing during my sentence. I can't just keep talking and talking without stuttering or whatnot and going um yeah uh uh yeah uh, like that. You know, Isaiah just looks like a pro and like maybe look like an idiot. That isn't exactly hard to do. <laughs> anyway. The other kind of thing that I'm doing that not many people are doing is running a bicycle. Running a bicycle. Mm -hmm. A lot of people overrate the bicycle, but you see a lot of big names playing it. Yeah. I, I, it's really good in Darkrai. I would say it's better in Darkrai than in my deck. Mm -hmm. But what I want, I want to come out as aggressive as possible, and the bicycles don't usually help that in the beginning. What happens is you get take four prizes and get end down to two yeah. and then I save myself with a bicycle when they end me down to two so it has happened a lot so it's really really good it's, it's helped a lot and I had to switch from Bianca to Sharon with the bicycle engine because I would sit there with a Bianca and a bunch of bicycles and you can play either one for any cards so if you have a bicycle you can Sharon on top of it so, but it used to be I used to hate Sharon uh, three cards I can do that pretty easy with Bianca so a lot of people sometimes like the Bianca, no, Sharon into, or not Sharon, but uh, bicycle into the Bianca sometimes, and they use the Bianca, it's like, what? Yeah. I, I know this one guy with, who was playing Blastoise, he used bicycle, um, and get, got a bunch of energy, just a bunch of energy and a squirtle, mm -hmm. attach it everywhere, and then he, um, then he also got, it. actually got two energies, a squirtle, and, oh, crap, sorry. Did you run out? What did you say? Is it better? No. Oh. This, he got two, huh. um, yeah, my phone was slim as a My fingers are getting into the plants. <laughs> and, um, yeah, he had this, he was water energy, a squirtle, and a, and a, um, Bianca. And then he, uh, put the two energy on a Keldeo, uh, put the squirtle down, Bianca got a bunch of more energy, and rushed in and not KO'd me for the win. I was like, whoa, how crazy this is. And the funny, the funniest part is, that was his only uh, bicycle. One bicycle. Yeah, one bicycle. I've seen that, just one bicycle. He didn't top cut or anything. He just, I think he went 4-4. Um, four, four. He went about even. He, but he was like my third or fourth match. There's a lot of times when I like get hit by N and then play a bicycle. And then that fourth card's Juniper. And then I just keep going like it never happened. <laughs> yeah. That's a good feeling. I've, I've hated N since the card hit the format. I just hated it. You hate N? Hate it. Everyone says it's the best card ever, the yeah. best supporter ever. It's really good, yeah, but that's the problem. I play really aggressively, I usually am winning. Yeah. And then I get hit by it and struggle. Yeah. That's why I hate it. So, I don't play it. I, I, um, I like him, but I don't think he's the best supporter ever. I think the best supporter ever, in my opinion, is Pons. For Professor Oak's new theory. Because he really goes. Because you're. Um, it's saving cards. Yeah. A bunch. Yeah. People say like Polaris if you got enough people out there. Polaris, I, I love Polaris, I really do. I really do love Polaris, um, especially when you're playing decks that um, you put a lot of um, basics on the uh, on, on the bench or whatnot. Yeah, that, that's a nice player. That Snorlax player had a full bench because that's what Snorlax needs to do a lot of damage. Yeah. And he had Cold Res, he was getting 7, 8 at a time, and it was doing him well. Yeah. Tyler is central for that. I play um, Cold Res in both my decks. I, I have two decks um, Guard Chomp. Yeah, I know it's not that great. It's in the um, in, um, Keldeo. So they're good in both. Actually, no. I can't, I sometimes, actually, I currently don't because I took it out, but I'm thinking about putting it back in. Just for the, just for kicks. My lander sack doesn't run it because I only ever bench a couple guys at a time. It's not going to help me much, so I just kind of stick with it. I cut all of the, uh, during states I was just trying to deal with clean plague and like adding things like a, a, a scarf that gives you 20 hit points. Yeah. And, Stuff like that, and I realized that it was only helping me a little bit in those matchups, and I'd rather just 
eat it, get through it, and be yeah. have a more consistent deck as a whole, and not try to be too techy. Like the vice goes to take the place of my techies. Yeah. What happens is I get in down to garbage, I can use vice to get out of it. And so it's, and it's, it's worked out pretty well. Just computer search, you know, real consistent cards. That's it. Yeah. Um, you don't you don't run into garbage or you don't have any problems with running into garbage or because not in your right. Yeah, cards I mean, it does, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just put you don't put rescue scarf on, do you? Though I don't run heavy light either. So, so yeah, that's nice. Um, I don't have room. Uh, let's see. You know, there's another thing that most Landers players they have a YouTube deck and I don't. You don't? Mm -hmm. He's good. He's great, but damage right now is for him. Most people blast away their energy. Yeah. They have like one lunch, so you're gonna do. 60 damage or 80 damage instead of what you used to, hundreds is you know, a lot. And he's good, you can do a lot for double promise if you got somebody else that's out of control or something like that. But no, I'm, I'm more, I'm like I said, I'm in love with that Landers move on top. Yes. And I'd rather put my, if you have a Mewtwo out, you're putting your energy on him. Yes, I was about to say that. So, and, and once they take that out, you got no energy left to play. And I like to just kind of spread it out and make it hard to deal with, you know? So. Um. So, uh, another question, what deck do you play for free time or just for fun? Oh, I don't know, I, um, I have an unlimited deck that's, that's real fun that when people are playing cards that aren't legal, you show up my your deck, it's, it's, it's really fun. It's actually uh, Embor that plays energies, yeah. Espeon that picks them up again, there's unlimited time so you have an unlimited combo, and then there's a Shuckle, when you attach energy to him, you draw a card. Yeah. So if you have both of those in play, you deck out because you draw a card, you play the energy, draw a card, pick it up, play the energy, draw a card, so you just deck. I've been doing some research and my, we have like two minutes left and I'm to, I find out that, um, yeah, the one of my friends, Alejandro, he lost in, um, six, he, in the top 16, I think, he, wait, he either lost or won. Let's see that again. Yeah, I think he, um, Freaking! Wait, hold on here. Um, yeah, just let me continue. But I know that Isaiah said he only went to top four, before he got knocked out. But he did good. Better than you. And then, so you deck out. You have to win that turn. There's a uh, what's it called? A fortress, I think it is. That you you play the energy on him. Uh, you flip a coin. And if heads or, or tails, it does 20 to everybody in play. And so you just keep playing energy on it, picking it up, playing it on it, picking it up. Then you heal your guys in Pokemon Center. It heals everything without energy on it. And then keep it going. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and it just wipes out everybody. But you have to have a broken time space to make it all happen on that first turn. But with like Erica, you know, Professor, or Professor Oak, the old one. Pons, deck out. Or the old Pons. Professor Oak, the original. Oh, the, the original guy. Professor Oak. Yeah, you're playing some weird stuff. Yeah, yeah. Look, that's I, the old, just for fun. I like, know kind of what you're talking about, okay. but there's some stuff I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. And, um, um, and um, one last question, I guess. Uh, you, you said you're from Nebraska. Mm -hmm. What do you like to, what do you do for a living? What do you do, you do outside of Pokemon? I, I work for um, Dell, and I work at a call center for tech support at the hospital ah. in New York, and uh, like in Nebraska. <laughs> So, computer tech. Before that, I was good at uh, graphic design. Web design, stuff like that. Yeah. Kind of, I was a math major in school. No. So, <laughs> so, so, what do you do? No, Hondo actually top eight because he won. The, I see him win this match. So, you went a little farther. I'll go back to Isaiah right now. For fun outside Pokemon? Um, well, I have two kids. So yeah. they're, they're most of my time, they're four and five. So, so whenever you're not Pokemon and you know, um, whatnot. I'm teaching them to read so they can go Pokemon yeah. too. <laughs> oh, they're like young kids, so they're not yeah. playing any of that yet. Not yet, but they'll be, they'll be, yes, they'll probably be a judge once they're playing. So. Really? Next round. And, um, thank you, for, thank you for your time, yeah. sir. Isaac, okay. Isaiah. And, um, my name was, was, um, Samuel15, um, Thank you guys for watching, and uh, so please subscribe, please like. The rest of me is just talking. Yeah, as you guys can tell, and that's probably, you guys probably were able to hear that. And I apologize for that. And that's the sound of, and I apologize for the few of the sounds you guys heard. 
Uh, yeah. I'm gonna, oh, what the? Oh, backup system. So yeah, thank you guys for uh, all that shiznats and whatnot, and um, please like or subscribe. Isaiah is a good guy. Let's try to try to find his ass. I'm um, trying to find out what he did. So stay with me. Uh, tab eight. Scott Lawyer. Wait a minute, I think I see him. Yeah, if I think he... No, this is round seven. Damn it. down here. Yeah, I can't find out wh how well he did, but I think he did pretty well. Now, if anyone finds out how well he did, please uh, let me know that. So. Yeah, um, thank you guys for uh, being here today. Please like or subscribe. Oh, where the hell is that? And uh, I'm going to go on. Oh, by the way, go to TopCutGaming.com or TopCutCentral.com. It's one of the people who sponsored the event, so please like them. Um, they were good people. Try to find out them in the Illinois area. They're everywhere. And I think they have like street stores, so if you like Pokemans, I think they have tournaments there in three other locations. So, yeah. This was Sammy15, and good night.